What's up guys, Brandon Jay, and today we're gonna be going out to the middle of the ocean. We're gonna be taking these giant spear fishing guns and we're gonna be shooting some beautiful, beautiful fish. There's only a few fish in the ocean that I've always wanted to see as a kid. I grew up in Florida, all of these fish are in Florida. I don't know why I'm waiting till I'm 23 years old to be able to see these fish. The first fish was a Goliath grouper and I actually got to see that yesterday. It was as big as my jet ski, it blew my mind. The second fish on my list since I was like a little boy was a dolphin. I mean, not a dolphin, like a bottlenose dolphin, a mahi-mahi, a dorado. You might know it by all of those names, but this is one of the most beautiful fish in the ocean. But today we're gonna change that. We're gonna go offshore, going to get to not only see a mahi-mahi, but spear one and eat one tonight. So I actually got some new gear for this trip as well. If you guys have seen my fins in the past, they're like these little river fins, but we are gonna be in some extremely deep water today. We're gonna be over a thousand foot deep and we might have to go 40, 50 foot down free diving. And these little fins, you're just gonna kick so hard and you're not gonna get anywhere. So this morning, I actually went up and I got some brand new fins. They're made out of carbon fiber. These fins are a lot longer than my river fins and they're gonna allow me to get down there. It was a big investment, but honestly, I think it's gonna be worth it. I'm gonna be honest, I only bought them because it's gonna help me be a little bit faster than Jake and Tristan. So when I see the biggest fish, I'll just swim to it and shoot it. I have the biggest fish of the day. I also have the crew with me right now, Jake and Tristan. They're actually chilling in the... Tristan! I got new Tristan, fins. Tristan, my, take my fins off. What are you doing? Those are expensive. This is why we can't have nice things. Look, oh gosh, you just hit them on the side of the pool. They're not, they're not made to do that. With that being said, it is time to hop on the boat, take it a few miles out. We're gonna be in a thousand foot water and spear some fish. We're going to the next spot. This is crazy. Woo! Yeah, baby, we've been running for 25 miles. So we have been running the whole ocean. We ended up uh, like five miles further than we planned. We're 25 to 30 miles offshore right now, but we finally found the grass that we're looking for. This is gonna be loaded with mahi-mahi. Look at this grass flat right behind us. Big blue water and grass all offshore. These fish are gonna be hanging out under these mats. We're gonna get them chummed up right here by the boat with all the bait that we caught earlier. We're gonna get in the water and we are going to spear and annihilate some fish. So here's our map, but we are almost 2,000 feet deep right here, man. I don't know if I'm excited about that or extremely nervous, because that's the deepest water I've ever been in. Uh, but right now, I'm gonna grab my spear gun, get my fins, everything on. We're gonna hop in the water, and we're gonna try to spear some dolphin. So this is a family tradition for us. My dad planted the trees that these mangoes wow. came off of. And anytime you go off, anytime you go to my dad's house, he gives you mangoes. This morning, he gave me three of them. I put them on ice and now I want you to taste a good, fresh mango that came straight off of our tree. Dude, that's awesome. Okay, if you like mango, tell so me like what you think So like when you were a is. little boy, did you like, you, you had this when you were a little boy? All the time. That's so cool. Man. That'll be the best mango you ever had right there. Boys. I'm serious. Yeah. Eat the seed. Like put your hand, it's like, that's the best right there. Thank you. Dang. I love your family tradition. <laughs> We're out here in the ocean, salt water, man. Salt water connects you, food. This is what it's all about. Tradition, friendship, honor, respect. Hey guys, we got a new friend. 
We got new crane. <laughs> All right, so a total change of plans. We had to come in shore. We had a big storm uh, that came through. So right now we're in shore. We found a pot of dolphins that we're kind of looking after, uh, but we also found a giant school of fish. So I think we're going to dive in on that and uh, just experience it, man. It's going to be unreal. That was probably the most unreal thing I've ever seen in my life. So I was born and raised here. I've dove my whole life here. That was the thickest, most densely packed bait I've ever seen in my whole life. On top, you had the pilchards. On bottom, you had big eye scad, which we call goggle eyes. And it was so thick, you would literally, you're going and you don't know if you're gonna run into a rock or, or if you're just running into millions of bait. And then I come through the bait and there's like these giant Goliath groupers. That is why you live life, to see things like that right there. Unreal, so what's the move? We gotta get out of this storm. Yeah, dude, we got a serious storm. And to everyone, your audience, we're all about yep. being safe. Oh, for sure. I always carry a ditch bag like this yep. because if you're way offshore, these storms blow up in just a matter of moments. Right. I keep an e and a personal locator in here. No matter when it, where I go, I've always got that bag with me. So Good. Good it's stuff. all about safety. Let's run in. There's a lot of lightning in the storm. Let's eat some lunch and then yeah, get yeah. back after it. Cool. Dude, so freaking sick. All right, guys. So we made it back. We were unable to get back out on the water because of the storm. Oh. Got fish. Some of the boys speared some fish. I didn't actually spear anything. Once again, I feel like I've got a curse on me right now. Anyway, it was a really cool day. I had a great time. One of the most amazing moments today was obviously that bait ball. Honestly, that was my favorite part of today. I know what you're thinking, man. Today was all over the place and I am sorry. It really was, man. 
We started out, we thought we were gonna go deep sea, we thought we were gonna get mahi mahi. We went in and there was like storms, we had to come out, we, I don't know. We ended up in a bait ball, then we went to go eat and then rain, we're back, we're back. It's been an eventful day to say the least. Tristan, what was your favorite part? Being able to dive with you guys, but the best part of the day was swallowing all that salt water and throwing it right back oh, up. Oh man, you did, you chummed the water today. I didn't put that in, but yeah, Tristan was like yakking all day today. He took too much salt water in and whew, he chummed the bait up for us for sure today. Jacobson. Hello. What was your favorite part about today? The fish? There was like a thousand of them. <laughs> I know, dude, it was there so like crazy. like 5,000, it was amazing, it was crazy. You're the last one. What was your favorite part about today? My favorite part was dropping down through the bait and watching the light go away. It turned dark, there were so many bait and creeping through and seeing that massive Goliath grouper. And as he sort of pushed away, he's like, oh, woo -hoo! Yeah, That's dude. his way of saying like, this is my reef, leave. Dude, that was my favorite part too. So, there you have it. Everybody had a good time today. And uh, honestly, man, it was a blast. It was crazy. We went out there to do something. We ended up doing something completely different, which honestly may or may not have been cooler than what we set out to do in the beginning. So, very, very cool experience. I'm glad I got to be a part of it and got to share that moment with a lot of cool people. Uh, by the way, everybody recorded a video today, so everybody's channel will be linked in the description below. Me, Jake, Tristan, and Deer Meat for Dinner. If you guys haven't seen Deer Meat for Dinner before, make sure you guys go check him out. He is the ultimate outdoors catch and cook channel i'd say he's the number one catch and cook channel on youtube with that being said that's gonna be pretty much it for today's video i hope you enjoyed if you did make sure you drop a big old thumbs up and as always i will catch you guys on the next adventure peace out oh. <laughs>